It was an opportunity to work on something completely different to what I'd worked on previously. Bajagi was was bigger. It was there was a sense of the epic about it that there was a larger world to it and that's something that really attracted me to the film and, and let me do something with the fel with that film that I don't have the opportunity to do very much which is to write score excellent <laughs> I, I who the gift before it's my granddaughter's birthday Jessica Jess yes I'd always seen the film as being a, a little Hollywood movie, a Hollywood movie on a budget in 10 minutes. First impressions was how much it looked like a film as opposed to a short and um, how much it filled the screen and how much it was a world of its own. The first draft of the music that Heather did um, came back and was quite upbeat. It was a fun fantasy film score. After that first draft, we talked about the fact that it was from uh, the character that Hildegard was playing. So it's her point of view. So it's her apprehension and her anxiety at the beginning that we really needed to pull out, and that perhaps it wasn't such a safe place after all, and what she was doing maybe was quite dangerous. That, that opening shot where the camera pulls away from Mr. Vajaghi's door and, and Hildegard, as the woman approaches tentatively and knocks and the door, the door just op opens in front of her and she, she's very uneasy and that was, that was always meant to be very dark. Um, but I think that it wasn't until we got to the music that I realised that we really did have to unpick what I'd done in directing the film and really focus on just how the tone shifted through it. Um, and so on the second and third dress we tried something quite different in taking that the, the beginning was much darker, much more apprehensive, much more anxious. And then when you first see Bajagi, then the tone moves into the next section where um, he's this uh, wonderful, otherworldly, um, larger than life character. Coming! And then there's another section where the wall, the whole entire back wall of shelves moves and, and we wanted to bring out the grandeur of that section and really build the whole film all the way to that, that section. So there's all these different sections that needed to, uh, we wanted to delineate with the music and the sound, just these separate sections, rather than it all being one wash of music. That really helped give us a, a fully rounded, fully realised score, that um, the way the short reflects bigger films and the way the script is structured um, allowed us to really go all out with the music. And I think at the end, at the end of the day, I think the music is the music is one of the strongest and certainly one of the most important parts of the finished film. <laughs>